found this quiet place to give you an update on the waders. I've been in around 30-35 trips so far. To my estimation every trip is around 6 hours, give or take. So it's around 200 hours of pure usage. And no leakage so far. Everything is holding up good. No problems whatsoever. I wasn't going through the insane bushes or something like that, but that autumn season was pretty rough anyways because you go through the river and there's like 100 people going to the same spots every day so it gets very muddy and sometimes you go knees deep into the mud so they seen some tear and no leakage so far i'm happy with that and no significant damage they're just muddy and that's it my friend who bought a little bit cheaper waders he changed his first pair after like 20 trips because his crouch started leaking. 10 or 15 trips into second pair, it started leaking again. He brought them back to the shop. The owner said, this is the last time I'm gonna change them because this shouldn't be happening. Maybe you're wearing them wrong or something like that. So he gave him the third pair. And after another 10 trips or something, uh, the spot where the neoprene sock comes with the membrane starts leaking. So it's on repair now. You can make any conclusions you like. I would say these waders are worth the price. And if Sims could add two more guides for your belt, that would be awesome. Now let's move somewhere warmer to talk about the boots this is way better warm hot cup of java i think you can tell from that clip that i was a little bit frustrated because it was our third trip when we were able to locate the fish but we never made it bite but forget about that and if you want to see my initial reaction to the waders when i got them there is a clip right here now let's talk about the boots so from that intro you can probably tell i was desperate for some new wading boots and i searched online a little bit and my friend got a new pair the pair that i'm gonna talk about and a selling point for him and eventually for me was the weight on the page it says the size 11 of these boots weigh around 1.1 kilogram or 40 ounce but what does that really mean i don't believe any of you have ever weighted your shoes so for example these are my nike kds 12 these are my basketball sneakers the durability is not a concern here they have to be light comfortable and hold your ankle in place and the pair of these shoes weighs around 840 grams so they are like a few hundred grams lighter than my waiting boots and that's a very small difference consider why are you using these compared to the waiting boots and keep in mind this whole upper part is made from a mesh i can see through it so that's a weight comparison for you to understand how light those waiting boots are this is how they looked when I bought them brand new the first day and this is how they look today first of all they look okay after 200 of hours using them in all sorts of conditions of course all the decor is starting to peel off a little bit but that's to be expected but the rest of the boot looks fine there's nothing wrong with it there is no tearing spots everything is intact and in place and i'm more than happy with them actually i'm a little bit impressed here my main concern was comfort uh, i'm walking around the river a lot we're driving to the spot and we're moving a few kilometers up and down the stream searching for that fish so i'm uh, moving a lot and comfort is the first thing for me and I will always sacrifice the longevity to the lightness of the boot when it comes to wading and walking around the river. 
but that's just for me. I had this discussion with one very good known dude in the Facebook. I will not mention his name, but basically what he told was that the weight doesn't really matter because when the boots get wet, they get heavy anyways. And that would be true, except that these boots has very little cushion in them. All this upper part is made from hard material and there is no cushion in, in this part of the boot at all. And the only softer material is here on the ankle and there is very little of it. And the tongue is made from a not absorbent material, I think. So it doesn't take a lot of water in it. They don't get that much heavier when you make them wet. Having dealt with the wading boots before, I knew one thing that the laces are the first thing to come out and rip art on you when you're least expecting that. So I ordered an extra pair when I ordered the boots. And surprisingly, these laces are still fine. There's nothing wrong with them. They look almost brand new. I thought these guides for the laces looked like a weak spot of the boot, but they're still holding up pretty really good. There is no damage on them, so I'm surprised in this part also. So basically the only damage is the decor, which is not that big of a deal. And what I suggest to you, and what I haven't done when I bought these boots, that would be to take them brand new to your local shoemaker and ask him to stitch around all that decor. That will stop it from peeling off and when it peels off the mud can go under it and then it makes the decor to peel off even more and eventually you can lose your soul i think now do i recommend these boots for you well it depends first of all how much do you weigh if you weigh like five times a year don't bother go with something cheaper you will never feel the difference Second thing, if you fish a lot with your waders, but you don't move a lot, again, that's probably not the best boots for you. Because if you drive to the spot, you get into the river and you basically stand there the whole time and then you jump in the car and drive to another spot, there's no purpose in having the lightest boots possible. Uh, I would probably go with something cheaper or something more durable, like G3 or G4 or even some cheaper boots. I think they will be more durable than these, but don't quote me on that. But if you drive to the spot and then spend two, three, four hours walking around the river, wading, getting in the water, out of it, go, going on foot to the next spot, then these boots might be just for you. Again. I think they will not last as long as some more robust, heavier boots. But if the comfort is main thing for you, I highly suggest you getting these boots. I'm super happy with them. Uh, I think they will last me another season or so. And after that, I saw Sims came out with some new boots this year. I saw they brought back the boa system and i really want to try that out because i hate lacing up my boots every time so i hope this video was helpful for you in making your decision about buying new waders or new wading boots and if so leave me a thumbs up uh, let me know what is your opinion about these waders and these boots in the comments below or any boots you ever tried maybe i'll get some info myself and i'll see you next time Peace.